Time seems to fly away if we are engaged in a very interesting and intellectually stimulating debate with another person. On the other hand side, we can also experience situations that are very boring, for instance, sitting alone in a waiting room. This is exactly the topic of an international interdisciplinary project entitled Virtual Times that is currently funded by the European Union in the framework of Horizon 2020. We want to exhaustively, by a number of different measures, including physiological and neurobiological measures, study time experience with particularly taking into account the variance of time experience in different diagnostic groups. So, for instance, patients with depression um, are usually claiming that time passes by much more slowly than under normal conditions. And there are other psychopathological conditions like schizophrenia who are reporting um, different experiences with respect to time. Technologically, we want to develop a virtual reality platform that allows us to modify and manipulate the time experience of persons. We are illustrating one particular example in my background, namely such a star field simulation where we can change the velocity of stars moving. There are other so-called virtual zeitgebers that can influence your time experience, for instance, the velocity of natural phenomena like the sun that is going up or down, the velocity of persons moving around and the velocity of physical clocks. On the basis of the systematic variation of these different so-called virtual zeitgebers, we hope that we will be able to manipulate and change the time experience of the perceiver and the participant of the virtual reality scenario. And in the end, we are also hoping that we will be able to change the time experience even of persons suffering from different psychopathological conditions like, for instance, depression, to such a degree that possibly these persons are even losing their depression after experiencing normalized time, after changing their time experience.